Thank you for watching Vintage Weights PGH. Please support the channel by purchasing apparel through the link in the description or at www.vintageweightspgh.com. Old Weights New Gains and Lift History shirts are printed on high quality next level t-shirts and they are available in multiple sizes and color options. Thank you for supporting the channel. Welcome to Vintage Weights PGH. My name is Rob and I'm an Air Force veteran. Is that why I have beat army plates? No. Because I think they are such a cool piece of physical culture and strength history. These are custom York Barbell weight plates from the Naval Academy. That's why they say beat army because the Naval Academy has a long standing, I'm talking like 100 plus years rivalry with West Point which would be the Army's Academy. I did not attend the Air Force Academy. I don't really have like a, a horse in this race, but being a veteran, I do think it's cool to have a little bit of military history in my gym. I also think that these are the coolest of the York Custom line. And I'll tell you why in just a minute. In this video, I'll go through some of the attributes of this Beat Army York Milled Era plate, for better or worse. I'll tell you why I think it's the coolest in the custom line, and I'll tell you what I think the current value is in 2023. In the 1990s, York was pestered by Dr. Ken of Iron Island Gym. Please make a plate for me. I could make a whole video, a whole episode of my podcast about that situation, but I'll just leave it at that, that York finally, they went with it. And they made really cool custom plates for Iron Island Gym. Those, in my opinion, are the absolute, the top tier, the number one custom York plates that have ever been made. But then York did branch out and start their custom line. For the custom line, places like Disney World, the NFL picked up some custom plates, and then there were a series of colleges and universities that also had custom plates. The most sought after one, and one that I've never seen, might be Hawaii University Rainbow custom design. No one seems to know what happened to them. Poof, they're just gone. I even asked my favorite person in Hawaii, Jokabug, the lazy old Faka, you ever see these things? And he said no. So then why are the Beat Army ones my favorite? Although the Hawaii plates are very cool looking and they're clearly more rare than these, no one can find them, I think the rivalry between the Naval Academy and West Point is just really cool. It's inspirational to pick up this plate and just feel the seething like, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna beat them kind of attitude that they didn't put Naval Academy, they put Beat Army so that every time their athletes put these onto the bar, they were reminded what they were doing, why they were training. That, I think, is just really cool. It's just different than the other custom university and college plates that I've seen. I've seen Virginia Tech, I've seen South Dakota, I've seen a whole bunch. And they usually have their university name and maybe a logo, and that's cool. I'd still pick them up, but it's not as cool as just putting your rival Beat Army on the plate, in my opinion. The color scheme also just happens to match my color scheme, so that doesn't hurt. And this is the original paint, yellow Beat Army in blue. The back is milled, just like another milled era 45. The rest of the plates, 35 through 2.5, were identical to the milled era Yorks at the time. They did not say Beat Army. I saw in Virginia a Beat Army set that had 25s and such, and I know the collector that went and bought the 45s and he didn't pick up the rest <laughs> because they were just regular milled 25s that happened to be blue. Personally, I would have picked them up to have a full Beat Army set, but 
It wasn't me. I wasn't driving to Virginia. What is the downside of these? Well, these are USA stamped 1990s era milled Yorks. And if you watched my home gym history episode about the milled era Yorks, or you watched my milled era York guide on this channel, Vintage Weights PGH, you might remember that the diameter is slightly less. So let's put it on the bar and I'll show you what I mean. So if you take a look, this is a pre-USA, meaning 1960s and the 1980s, milled York 45. And then I have my Beat Army milled York 45 USA stamped. And see that difference when it's on the bar? That drives some people crazy. That's enough to have some people just completely soured on the custom York line. For me personally, I don't mind. I just think the color scheme, the history, everything about it is just too cool not to love, in my opinion. What are these valued at? Well, there's the wild west of eBay, meaning like, who knows on eBay what these would go for. Actually, I know a collector that sold a pair on eBay, so I guess he knows, and it was over a thousand dollars. I think in this condition with original paint and just the majority of original plate, these would be about five to six hundred dollars, I think would be a fair price. If they had been repainted, I would drop that big time. I don't think I'd pay more than four hundred dollars for a pair that were repainted. Because then I'd have to strip the paint and then paint them myself and I'd know that it wasn't original paint. Whereas these, and even just looking at the wear on the milling and the milled lines, I know for sure these are original blue and yellow beat army plates. So if original paint, five to six hundred dollars. If it wasn't original paint or they were just really damaged, they were stripped down the bare iron or they were repainted, I'd drop that down. That's just my personal opinion. There's no official standing on vintage weights prices because they are collectible. So take it or leave it. Drop a comment and let me know what you think of that opinion. If you like the shirt I've been wearing, then why don't you go buy yourself one? The proceeds will go to funding this channel. I need to get something better than this old plyo box that I made years ago to balance a weight on when I do a weight rate, when I do a weight plate review video. So please help the channel out. And at the very least, even if you don't buy a t-shirt or use my affiliate links in the description, drop a comment hit the like button, make sure you subscribe, all that happy stuff, and thanks for watching. Old weights, new gains. Beat Army.